Tune in to Overcomers TV on your favorite app or streaming platform. It's time to overcome. Oh, years ago, I heard about the school. I've been here a very long time. And actually, I was going to church in Denver. My husband and I, that's where we lived when we just first got married. And some friends of ours had actually gotten a job down here at CSCS. And so they were back up visiting one day, and it was the Borkerts. They were here for years as well. And they said, oh, they're all looking for a band director and a music position. You should apply. So that's how I heard about CSCS all those years ago. Well, I am, as I said, I started as the band director and then kind of just have moved up a along the way, becoming the head of the fine arts department. And then here a few years ago, um, they asked me to become an assistant principal. And now, believe it or not, I still teach high school band and I'm the principal at the high school. The concert was fun. We have four concerts a year for our school groups. And this was our March concert. And so being a March concert, we usually have a theme to that. So being that it was in the month of March, we featured marches on our concert last night. So each of the bands, the sixth grade band performed in the seventh and eighth grade band and the high school band. So. Well, our overall mission statement is that we will provide an excellent education from a Christ-centered biblical worldview for lifelong service. And I really like that at the high school, and because we are, we're training these young people to become out and be you know, independent individuals that can stand firm in their faith. So just all parts of that, from their education to their activities that they do, to um, all the different events, at, even outside of school, we want them to be able to take the knowledge and the wisdom we have, not just in academics, but fine arts, athletics, student ministries, and to be able to carry that through so that when they get to college, they have a foundation that they can stand on. Especially in the Christian realm, and we get a lot of um, a lot of support here at CSCS for our fine arts because it is something that they can use for lifelong service in their churches, when they get out into college, in their youth groups there, whatever they're doing um, with any of the collegiate level groups. But music is something that God gave us from the very beginning, and it's something you know our voice is the natural instrument, and then all the different instruments we can learn to play, and so it's not just an add-on. It's something that we do that helps us express our emotion and our love for each other and our love for God. And so, yeah, I think it's definitely a very vital part of a person's overall education. All of our classes are taught from a biblical worldview. So just in training the students and in the way they should go, no matter what the subject matter is, they get that from our teachers. And, you know, it's very great here because a teacher can say, well, this is my viewpoint. This is what I believe. Your parents and your church background, because we have so many represented, they may say, you know, you need to talk to your parents about this. You need to talk to your youth pastor, or your pastor about this, which is great. Um, but with the discipleship, just training them, we have a lot of different prayer groups that go on. We have a lot of different Bible studies that go on. And a lot of the different teachers, just in a non-structured environment, they just open their classrooms at lunchtime and kids go in and eat lunch there and they're able to have um, just that discipleship with teachers and build those relationships. And then as far as evangelism and our outreach that we do, we do a lot of evangelism just here within the school, within the grade level, and then just some of the different things. It doesn't matter um, whether it's a sports team, whether it's a club, a lot of them have a lot of different requirements to go out and help in the community, to do those types of things, to, to spread the good word, if you will, you know, to the community. And just recently our seniors, well, not just the seniors, but the whole high school did a serve week and where we took in a lot lot of um, children's donations for children's things for um, like babies to toddler age and then we donated it to um, the people and we had of course dress up days and of course the competition to to do that but we donated over 150 items to a local ministry here to help with what they're doing we really believe that you know it is it's the family and the church and the school and that we have to work together to help raise these kids because they are getting bombarded by so much in the world today that they just need such a strong foundation for this. So we do, we work very closely with the parents. The parents are welcome at our school. They're working with the high school. And I know in a lot of places, you know, the parents are really involved at elementary and then not so much at middle school and then hardly you see them at all at um, you know, the high school level. But we really want our students to um, have their parents be a part of that and support them and be there with them. And our PTO is great with that and helping with just keeping all of that together because it does take all of us to give these kids, a, just like, as I said, a great foundation so that they can go into the world and, and keep sharing. 
Oh, well, there are a lot of ways. You know, some people think when you talk about support, it's just a monetary thing. And yes, of course, we like that. But there's so much they can do with just giving their time, their energy, um, just their help. We have so many parents that just help behind the scenes with doing things that just get done. And so, you know, it's, it's not just always the dollar sign that counts, but their time and their energy and just being just those little words of encouragement. Sometimes people say, you know, this is, you know, you're doing a great job. Just little things like that that really help the teachers here and the people that are here, like, as you said, on the ground every day with their children. But um, we have a lot of great parent support. We have a lot of prayer support. I truly believe that this school is covered in prayer support. And just from, just an example that I have, like we take a band trip about every other year. Of course, COVID shuts that, some of that down. But with, we're getting ready to go back to Dallas here in April to do a competition. And I truly believe that the reason we've not had any problems or anything like that is that we are covered in prayer from the time we start planning till the time we get the bus pulls in the parking lot when we get home. And so no matter what we do, we know that people are covered in prayer. And we've had some, some staff and some personal tragedies here recently and with different things. And just, you know, people just gather together and just pray for each other and to hold each other up in prayer and give them that support. So the people, the kids, and the people here, it's, it's easy as, you know, we say that with the kids, but it's easy for us to get beat down by the world too. But you always know you're gonna come here and that people love you here, they care for you. If you have a bad day, they're gonna lift you up. If somebody else is having a bad day, you can lift them up. So it's, it's the people and it's just the whole, the whole family, the community that CSCS is. Christian education is so important. And I think that our parents, need to understand that. I think they need to understand and not turn a blind eye to what the world is hitting their children with today. And that if they have any ability to give their, ch their children that opportunity, I didn't have that opportunity growing up. And so just the opportunity to have their children in this environment, no matter what the age is, elementary, middle school, or high school, that they just have the ability to have that foundation that other kids aren't getting. And it's just so important. Celebrate what Jesus is doing throughout the nation and rise up to answer his call on your life. To serve the poor, heal the broken, free the captives, and bring joy to those in need. Find hope, encouragement, and motivation through Overcomers TV. This inspiring network features everyday people and ministries across America who are putting God's love in action. Tune in to Overcomers TV on your favorite app or streaming platform. It's time to overcome.